All right, friends, we're gonna get started with our first activity um, that you're gonna turn in, getting ready for our monochromatic landscapes that, we're, that we discussed making. Um, first, you've got this worksheet where we're gonna practice making tints and shades of your chosen color. I have chosen blue as my hue. I'm gonna get my name at the top. Make sure you put your name on them because these all look alike and you wanna be able to turn in your points later when it's dry. Um, all right, we are gonna start by creating a gray scale on one side and then a monochromatic scale of blue from going from black to white with all the tints and shades of blue in the middle. Um, well, let's start with the gray scale. So I'm gonna take some of this clean white and bring it over here by the black over here. And I'm gonna make my first tint the lightest gray I can possibly make by adding just a touch of black to it. So it's slightly a different color than the paper. And then this one is easy because we're just gonna work our way up getting darker and darker till we get to black. And then I'll continue to add black until I get all the way there. So I'm gonna pause and time lapse that for you. All right, guys, for the next step, we're gonna create that value scale making tints and shades of blue. So this one's a little different. We're not just getting darker and darker as we work our way up. We're gonna work from the blue to white and from the blue to black. So we're gonna start in the middle here with the pure hue. And you'll notice in my water bucket, I didn't point out before, I've got a dirty side and a clean side. And so I wanna keep cleaning my brush on the dirty side, wiping my brush off on my paper towel. Um, one of the things we talked about is if you don't keep your brush clean and you add accidentally add both white and black at the same time, you won't get a tint or shade. You'll get what's called a tone, um, kind of a, a gray version of your blue. And we want a purer color for what we're doing. Those can be pretty, but for this purpose, we just want the tints and shades. So I'm starting with that pure blue. My brush is a little wet, so I'm gonna dry it off and get a little more paint. So my paint is more opaque not transparent. Remember, we're working with acrylic paints, which are not as washable as tempera, so be careful where your apron. All right, now I'm gonna move some of this blue into a new pocket. And I'm gonna start working my way up, adding a little bit of black at a time to make two shades of blue till I get to black. And we're gonna use all of these tints and shades in our landscape painting that we'll do. I hope you're thinking about what kind of landscape you wanna do, whether it's mountains or ocean or plains. I'm gonna add a little bit more black, try to get a darker shade. It's almost like a navy blue. And then lastly, I'll paint that black at the top. Now I've got all my shades. So you notice I started with the lighter value, the blue, and kept getting darker. Same thing when we're working our way down. We wanna start with the lightest value, which is the white. So I'm gonna get some clean white, add it to a new pocket, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue at a time, creating a tint, the lightest tint. Probably could have gotten a little lighter, but that's okay. You can even make a lighter tint. And I'm gonna add a little bit more blue. To make the next tint, Trying to use good craftsmanship, keeping my brush clean, get a little fresh water. And I'm gonna add a lot of blue since I want it to be in between. Oops, I think I can add more.
All right, and that's that.